Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the rearrange string k distance apart problem. Given a non-empty string s and an integer k, rearrange a string such that the same characters are at least distinct k from each other. All input strings are given in lowercase letters. If it is not possible to rearrange the string, return empty string. So let's see this example. We, we can find that uh, we can rearrange this string into a, b, c, a, b, c, so the same character like the a uh, will be at least distance 3 from each other. What does that mean? You see the first a is in the index 0, and the second a in the index 1, 2, 3. 0 plus 3 is greater or equal than the 3. And the same for the B, the same for the C. Uh, how about this problem? We, uh, how about this example? We cannot rearrange this string. Because uh, there are three A, we cannot um, re re rearrange this S so that uh, the, the, uh, the two A will have at least a distance uh, three. Uh, how about this? This example, we first uh, uh, let A at the beginning, then we append B, append A, append C, append A, in the end we append D. So what's the formula? How do we try to generate the final result? Actually, you will have an uh, intuition that we may need to append the most frequent characters first. In this example, A has a frequency of 3, which is the most frequent. So we append A first, then the B and C have the same frequency. Then we append B. Uh, then we append A because they already have the distance of 2, so we, uh, we can app append this A. Then we append C, append A, append C, append B, append C, append D. So basically, you know that at least we need to know the frequency of each character. So we can use a map. Then we use a chart to map its frequency, which is the int. So we, uh, this is the one data structure we need to use. Another thing that we will try to append the most frequent characters first. How do we know? What is the most frequent character? It's like a sorting idea. So we can use a heap because when we use a heap, we can know the most frequent item in a log n. n is the size of the heap time complexity. So this is the two data structure we needed to use. But what exactly um, do we perform this algorithm? Let's see. This example. At first, we iterate the string and get the frequency of each character. Then we use a max heap because first they sorted by their frequency. We will always like uh, like to append the most frequency character. But in this example, you will see A, B, C have the same frequency. They should have some order. Like we first append A, B, C, but uh, in the next round, uh, we also need to append A, B, C. We cannot, uh, in the first round, uh, we append A, B, C. In the second round, we append C, B, A. That will break the ruler. So if they have the same frequency, we can use, uh, we can solve them in lexicographically uh, order. We use a string builder to generate the final result. We first append uh, offer all these characters and their frequency in the heap. Then when the heap size is greater than zero, we will try to append the k characters. Um, all these will keep uh, pull from the heap because in this k distance, we cannot uh, append the two, two same characters. We also need a list. List why? Because when we pull uh something from the heap, we will lose track of that character. 
So we need a list to keep track of that character we append in the uh, string builder and uh, pull from the heap. The use of the list because when we out this out a for loop, we will try to see whether we have unused character and we will re-offer that into the heap. Like if the A had the frequency of 2, in this for loop, we append that into the string builder. We use it once, but we still have one A unused. So that's the usage of the list. We'll see if we minus its frequency is still greater than zero, we should reoffer that into the heap. Uh, every time if the heap size equal to zero, we have two valid uh, case. One is i equal to k minus one, that means it's reached the end. So uh, it uh, heap size should be zero. Another situation that we already generated the final string builder. So string builder's length equal to the string's uh, length. So, uh, but if not, this is true case, it will just return empty string because that means we do not have the uh, enough character to append. So we return empty string, otherwise we break. So let's write code, but you should know that uh, we only have the lowercase letter, so we can just use our int, uh, int, int array, the size of the 26. But you can also use a hash map. But if you use a array, that will be uh, efficient, time efficient. Okay, let's write the code. First, do a H case check. If k equal to 0, that means the same characters will have at least distance of zero. So the original string already uh, meet this requirement. If s dot length is less than k, uh, is mm, less than k, that means it's already uh, meet uh, the requirement. So we just return this s. Otherwise, we do the check. We'll use a map. And there is an uh, integer array. The size will be 26, as I said before, because we only have 26 lowercase letters. Then we iterate this uh, string as to char array. So, so that will be map C minus A plus plus. OK, we get the frequency of the map. Then we need a priority queue. Priority queue. What do we save this uh, heap? We will use in int array. Uh, and the zero dimension, we save the index of the character. We use integer, the same as this uh, here. And the dimension one, we save its frequency. So new priority queue, we will use um, a, b. Uh, then we first uh, sort by their frequency. Secondly, we sort by their uh, lexicographically order. So if a1 e uh, equal to b1, we will use a0 minus b0. Otherwise, we use the b1 minus a1 in descending order by their frequency. OK. And then we iterate this map, i less than 26, i plus plus. If map i greater than 0, we have this character. We offer that into our heap. There will be i and their frequency map i. Then we use a string builder as we try to generate the final result. So while this heap is not empty, we will use a list to see what uh, character do we need. New array list. OK. Then we try to append the k characters, at less than k, i++. Plus plus. So that will be intercur equal to heap pole. Then um, we append. But we need to convert that to char, because at first it's the integer. Cur 
there will be curve zero plus a. Then we should add that to the list. Notice that we should add the curve zero, not just i. i is uh, like the count. It's curve zero. And uh, if uh, once the heap size equal to zero, we will check. If not the two valid uh, cases, one valid case is i equal to k minus one. Another is i, not i, sb dot length equal to s dot length. That means we append all the characters. If not these two cases, we just change it to not equal and the string dot length not equal to s dot length. We return empty string. That means we cannot rearrange them. Otherwise, we just break. Okay, out this for loop, we will see every character in the list. If we uh, minus their frequency still greater than zero, we should re-offer that uh, heap offer int i and the map i into the heap. Okay, in the end, we just return string to uh, string builder to string. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.